Have you ever wondered what it takes to get into the pro league of a competitive esport? The steep steps that players must climb to reach the professional level of their game? Hi, I'm Moreover, and I am here to help break down the world of competitive Apex. Today, let's dive into the world of that grueling ladder, and showcase the journey of three fresh-faced competitive players as they attempted to climb into the pro league of Apex Legends. Today, let's step into the world of the Challenger Circuit. To understand this story, let's go back to December 6th, when the ALGS preseason qualifiers were well underway. I was still in the middle of my rank grind to Diamond, which I still am, and was regularly playing with players from my Discord server. Some of the players on that group are very good, and some of them expressed an interest in wanting to play in the preseason qualifiers. So I reached out to a few of them and asked if they wanted to play. My goal was to take three players and help them make it through the qualifiers. They would compete in the tournament, while I would advise them and help build their game plans during the game. I was the coach, and they were my players. So, let's meet the team. The first up on the roster is the first person I asked on the Discord. Danon the Cannon, our IGL for the team and bringer of passion for our newly formed squad. As well as a dedicated vantage main. G-Dolphin would be proud. The Movement Demon and co-IGL for our squad. While Dan handles the macro, Din is the main man for when the fighting starts, bouncing all over the place like a goddamn mosquito in 1v1s, you motherfuck. Our resident anchor and support for the squad. Killy is a Minecraft player who started playing FPS games more recently, and is already better than me at it. He also is a man with a magnificent set of locks atop his head. And we stand a man with a mane in this house. Dan and Cannon, Din and Mr. Killy. These three came together to try their hand at the qualifiers. With me as their coach, this squad became known as the Mice and Men. We began our training coming into the qualifiers, and I prepared for the challenges ahead. And challenges? There were indeed. None of these players have ever played together as a team. They have never been Apex rank grinders, and none of them have ever had any experience at the competitive level. To be honest, they're pub stompers, and we were going to work them into competitive players. How do I do that? Making videos on competitive Apex isn't the same as coaching a real team, and I had a hard time starting out. I got advice from friends and fellow members of the comp scene to get an idea of what I have to do to help this squad start off. The only problem? We were scheduled to compete in the last round of the qualifiers, and we had nine days to prepare for it. So, we got to work. This is where I would normally put a montage of the Mice and Men training up until the PSQs, but I didn't actually record or stream any of it. Yeah, what a good content creator I am. I'll just have to summarize it for you. The training for the Mice and Men was simple. Every night we would come together to discuss our game plans, practice as a team, and participate in scrims when possible. We had two POIs chosen as the spots for the team, Launch Site and Wall. The team could only practice launch site in scrims, but had time to practice wall during ranked days on Stormpoint. The legend comp we settled upon was a hybrid focus build of Bloodhound, Catalyst, and Bangalore. After swapping who would play the different roles, we decided to have Danon on Bloodhound, Din on Bangalore, and Killy on Catalyst. With the limited time we had, the Mice and Men put in their reps, studied their roles and macro, and got ready to play. When they're going out, make sure also be mindful of what comp they have. So watch for watch for the green trail, and once you spot the green trail, see what they're playing. If they're playing Catalyst, yeah. that means you're going to have to be careful of doors as well. If you they're not, it. you have an advantage when you get the building. Watch All right, good luck, guys. Luck. All right, let's go, boys. I'm <laughs> muted. Good Here we luck. go. Have fun. In the qualifiers, six rounds of tournaments are played, where every team is put through a grueling gauntlet to try and reach the finals. For a majority of these rounds, four games will be played, two on World's Edge and two on Stormpoint. And immediately, we had a problem. Our POI on World's Edge, Launch Site, was a particularly popular place for PSQ teams. We had scrimmed on it before but had trouble with contests going into PSQs, and on game one, we would be fighting a contest. Now. This was our first game ever together, and we had to prove ourselves right off the bat. We already had nerves as high as this, and if we screwed this up, it probably wasn't going to go well for the rest of it. Which sucks, 
because that contest did not go well. They landed here. All landed on the north building. I start walking on. Start walking on him. I'm going middle. I start walking on him. Okay, I'm pushing. No, there's somebody here. I'm scanning. I... One's in the middle. One's middle. One's middle. I'm nading. Pushing up to support Danon. Yeah, I think they might be walking up on me. Yeah, they are a little bit. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go turtle this building next to Dan. Yeah, so you guys. Did. No, they're still playing middle. They're still playing. They're still playing with the building. One's on me though. One's on me though. They're gonna look across. Yeah. They're looking at me. They're looking at me. Can you come back to me? No, no. Send me on the middle guy. 140 in the bank. Bang's one bullet. Bang is one bullet. Middle Horizon's cracked. Um, I, I just had no words. They just double pushed you and you didn't say anything. Yeah. My bad, my bad. The nerves had taken over clear as day. If you've never been in a competition like this before, you've never felt what it's like to shrink underneath the pressure. This was their first opportunity to show how far they have come, and they cracked. The strategy we had at launch site was to take the south side and work our way through the controlling the bridge in eastern buildings, namely the northwestern building, angling out our opponents and using catalysts to fortify our position. Danon would take an off angle at the center while Din and Killy would take the buildings. The enemy team, however, already had somebody at center aiming at Danon. Instead of backing up and playing around his team, he died trying to handle the 1v1 and backed out at the last second. Killy and Din played together around the southwestern building, and Killy failed to call out the two players approaching from the bridge, ultimately taking a 2v1 that he couldn't handle and dying for it. Din was stuck in between the two of them, trying to deal damage to Dan and Skiller, only to turn around and be surrounded by the rest of the enemy team. Their critical mistakes led to this game one downfall. That was a bad game, and the issues we had we had to nip in the bud as soon as possible. But I made a mistake right after the first game. You see, coaches in competitive Apex can only talk in between games. We can't talk during live matches. So as soon as the mice and men died, I immediately unmuted my microphone and started working with them. I wanted to nip these issues in the bud, right? Well... I don't know if I want you guys taking this contest, which sucks, because what I saw there, I don't think you guys are ready to handle the contest. So, given that, I don't think I want to see you guys contest in game two. Just so you have a chance of getting some points. Because Three's that... taken, though. Three's taken. Three is taken, but what, we can see what else is available. Okay? Because seeing that, I don't, I don't want to see you guys there again. I know, I know we've been practicing here, but we're clearly not at a point where we can handle this. We take it if it's open, we, we're not fighting for it. Yeah. This needed to be said, but the way I ended up saying it hurt my team overall. Our nerves were already as high as Mount Everest, and after losing a contest, our mental was practically shot. So having your coach come in immediately after and tell you all the things you did wrong, as well as tell you you're not good enough to handle contesting your PUI... Yeah, I killed their momentum completely. Just look on Killy's face. It says it all. As a coach, you're not just in charge of handling the team's mechanics or game plans. You also have to handle their mental, making sure they're in a good headspace for when they're playing. And spending my time in between games completely ruining their headspace was going to only hurt them. I did something really bad here. Really bad. If you ever wish to coach, don't do what I just did. Learn how to better communicate these points to your team so you're not taking your players down in the middle of a live match. All right, game one was bad for not just them, but me as well. We had three more games to play though, and maybe we could pick it back up. Let's go ahead and move over to see how game two went. We're staging, cause I, oh, wait. It's fucking over That's there. That's where I think it is, Behind yeah. that rock. That's where we're going. 
There's a, a contest at countdown. Are we clear over here? If, okay, clear if these guys here? are if these guys are going staging, we are smoking their shit. We are absolutely yeah. smoking their shit. I missed tracks. I missed tracks. Yeah, I'm I'm super far away from loot path. I'm gonna do my loot path kind of in reverse, I guess. I, I think they went Harvey. I think they went Harvey. No, they're here. They're here. They're here. Okay. Are they leaving? Should... I think they're leaving, right? I, I don't know if it's just one guy over there. We could go back towards Mirage still. Like no yeah, one landed back there. That's what I was gonna say. Yes, yes. Let's go back to Mirage right now. Go back. Go thermal! Go thermal! We're gonna skip beacon scanner. Let's just go thermal. There's people there. No, there's not. I just Are scanned you... for it. Look, on the map, there's people yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Thermal! Oh, fuck, my bad, bro. <laughs> Are they taking thermal or what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They... There's so team already landing. They're landing backside thermal. I don't know why they're going. Can we, get, we, get land, we get evac and land on height. Zone is definitely pulling here. Zone is definitely pulling here. I'm gonna just that's lock down I'm this saying. building and sit here. I'm gonna lock it down. Can we get that ring console right there? I, see a I don't think so. They're playing really small. We might be able to go down there. Let's just go. Let's just go. Be back on me. Yo, we could we could go back here. I got a blue. We need to get I somewhere. I, I think we go back where you guys were saying. Let's just go back where we were saying. Right back here. Here. We don't have a here or nothing. All right. Pause. Hello, I'm Moreover, and I am asking you to never do what the Mice and Men are doing right here. This is a final ring where it's very clearly pulling into Thermal Station. The Harvester team had already flown past and landed into the back end of Thermal Station, taking the God Spot. But the Mice and Men had already taken a really good spot in the two buildings on the front side. This spot is fantastic! You can hold both of the buildings and push out anybody trying to take one of them. You can also hold out all the teams coming in from the chokes if it pulls further south and endgames do end on top of the two buildings. It's honestly great, and then they start moving away from it. To put it simply, they were inexperienced on how to play zone. They had not had many chances to actually play it during scrims, and when they were offered the opportunity for a best spot in the ring, they decided to take extra time to look around for what they thought was the best spot. Unfortunately, it leaves them completely wide out in the open when they find the spots they were looking for were really taken. And now, they're probably going to die. There's people there already. People here, people oh, here. There's people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just walk back this way, walk back this way. Get, get here, get here. People on height. We still need to find a better spot, man. If we Before can evac, we, we go back to our building. Yeah, get, get, get the building let's we go, let's go. go back to our building. There might be people there, but let's go. Let's go, 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 Okay. Oh, it's so fucking. Team bubble. There's a guy team, walking up on us. Team. Walking up on us. I shot on one. I shot on one. I need to heal. We should scanning, be okay. Scanning. We should be okay. We should be okay. You know what? They got away with it. Let's just move on. Let's move up on their building. Let's move up on their building. They moved out of it. Are you sure? Yes, I just scanned. Oh, we gotta move in. We gotta move in. Is there a is there a team donut? I think so. I don't know for sure though. Is that pillar in? Can we play that? Team pillar? on our back. Team on our back on the rock no. right now. Three men. Full three men on my red ping. Scanning. I scanning. They might. They might. Aid. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, they're pushing. They're pushing. Back one. Knocked. Horizon. Nice. Horizon's on roof. On your left. Swinging left. Swinging left. One on roof. One on roof and one on left side. Uh. Alright, let's rewind. See this moment? When they are all outside looking for their next spot in the ring? This is the moment the men lost. It's not uncommon to be stuck outside the ring and have to look for a new spot, but it's very important to remember that other teams are looking for a spot as well, and those teams may need to fight you to get it. So whenever you are looking for your next spot in the ring, there should always be at least one person watching the team's back. None of the Mice and Men are looking behind them, and the teams that were fighting earlier in the game freely walk up and take out Din. The remaining duo of Killian and Dannon do almost turn it around, but in the end get killed. This probably would have been a clean wipe if they had recognized the team was walking towards them, and they had looked to clear their back before moving into the ring. It's a boneheaded mistake on their part, but don't forget that there are still two more games to play. 
They can make up the difference by playing well on Storm Point, with no contest in the way. The average cutoff for these four game series are 15 to 20 points, so one good game should secure them to the next round. They drop into Storm Point to make that happen. Alright, we got like, I'm gonna count to 15, we gotta go bro. We gotta leave to go to fucking North Pad. We need to get a good spot. Okay, I have 12, I can drop you some ID back. Do we want to take a finger? I think we do. You need to get here, man. I know, I'm just, I'm behind, I'm behind. Can we get building? One, I, one, one. I just got fucking vertinated really hard. Yeah, just, just come back to the spot. We could evac to, to building if they left building. They bang with it. Calm down. We're good. We got it rolling. Yeah, we're good. Oh my god, dude, they beamed me. Can you smoke right there in that corner? I don't know if that landed. This spot sucks. Do you sucks. have your ult? I can angle them. That's a good ult. Move with it, move with it, move with it. What the fuck? I'm, I'm not with you guys, I'm not with you guys. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. This particular death is what I would like to coin as under commitment. The squad believed that it was ending at North Pad and wanted one of the back fingers to hold. When you want to hold a position like this inside of the zone, however, you can't meet it halfway. You either are in the spot or you're not. So when the Mice and Men don't use their evac tower to quickly grab their spot, they are left as sitting ducks trying to walk it instead. Oh hey there champ, do you mind if I just walk through this open water here and you don't shoot me at all? I can just get right on by. Really? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, oh, what you aiming at me there, son? Miraculously, they were able to recover as the ring actually pulled to down Beast, and the nearby teams left them to get the revive. I don't think we take that evac. I think we walk in. I want to play real fucking slow. Yeah, we can walk up and we play. This. We can walk up and play the wall behind those buildings. People behind! People behind! People behind! I'm walling. That's the whole team. Yeah. I need you guys talking. What do you see? I'm getting shot from pad. Right from pad. We have to walk up and play like right here in that corner. Come with me. Just come with me. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. It doesn't matter. Get in, 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 get in. Team, 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 team. Just stay back there, down there. They, 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 they back. They, they did it back. I'm getting shot by height. I'm getting shot by height. Smoke, smoke if you can. Smoke if you can. I did, I did, I did. They might push on that. They might push on that. Uh oh. We have to go through. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. Good try, guys. You got it, you got it, you got it. The inexperience on the macro end once again reared its ugly head and cost any more opportunities for points in game three. The first three games were bad. Clearly bad calls, chalked mental, poor macro and rotations and team fighting and everything. So far it was looking like the Mice and Men would be a first round exit before anything could really happen for them. Frankly, I didn't even know if I'd be making this video. Still, regardless of what happened in the fourth game, I wanted to send them off on a high note. We promised to just do our best with what we got and hope for a miracle. What I didn't expect was for that miracle to actually happen. Yeah. Yo, look, 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 look. Okay, let's yep. we take that now. We go now. Yeah, yeah. We go now. I'm going right now. Oh, it was not ideal. If we get a top five with KP, we're securing our spot. Yep. Yeah. And we have next ring, guys. Look at where the fuck we are. Oh, yeah. We do not move. Here, you evac from top from of command. command. Give yep. me evacing from command. Give me, give me your, give me your shield. Give me your shield. It's, it's, it's not in command. It might be, it might be on the height. It might, they might, they might oob us. They might oob us. No, they, they're not. Yeah, they are. They, yeah, they are. Whoa, 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 whoa. One dead, one dead. I need a shield swap. I need a shield swap. Dude, Two what more. the fuck just happened? Wait, they died to Oob. They, the rest of them died to Oob. Uh, 
hey, yeah, hideouts. Uh, yeah, how much do I owe you for that game? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Can I pay you in Apex coins? So we get an extremely lucky ring pull that ends right on the zip building next to our POI. No team landed at command center in this lobby, so we were able to take the zip building without any challenges. This was a great opportunity for us, but not a guarantee. We were still poorly kitted, and we faced an incredibly dangerous threat from above, the oob. When an opponent tried to oob us, however, they failed to get off the mountain before the out-of-bounds timer finished, killing two of their players before they could drop down and leaving a solo to nearly down Danon. After the Mysa men killed the solo, all three of their death boxes were left on top of them, and their position was once again secure. In the most miraculous set of luck I have ever seen, the Mysa men take the god spot with fully kitted loot at their feet. Leading to this. Watch right side, watch right side. Take the rock, take the rock, take the rock. No, 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 Nice, nice, nice. Finish. Okay, go in, go in. He's got a good ball. I'm here, I'm here. Full three men under me, full three men under me. Last three. Oh, we're climbing up, climbing up. Scanning. Where's, where's the other squad? Where's the other squad? Just stay back here, we're okay. It doesn't matter. I'm talking about it. Last team, last team. Drop down, drop down. Crack one, crack one. That's nice. Good shit, boys. Good oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go. Good oh, job, guys. Oh, my fucking God. That's how we finished it, bro. It was so perfect. Fuck. Let's go. Dude, I cannot tell you how, like, how, how high my heart feels right now. Oh, my God. With a win in game five, the Mice and Men finish round one with 20 points, reaching the top 10 in their group and moving on to round two. We celebrated our victory, but we knew there was a lot more to come. We had four more games to play, and if we wanted to get through this time, we had to do better than those first three performances. If the Mice and Men wanted to make it through round two, the nerves had to be released, and we had to play better than we have ever had before. So we go into game five, and find out if we did. When should I drop on this one? Like right away or what? One, one guy is landing inside wall. Should we count? Are you sure? Yeah, 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 I'm looking Let's at get him. him, let's get him. There's a whole team down there. They all landed down there, just oh, come I... up, just come up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. we just go loot wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't land there. We, we gotta watch here, too. North pad. Okay. Drop the 3 can I, can I craft? Can I craft? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. I'm dropping the 3x on you, Killer. Okay, perfect. So there's still 20 squads left, guys. We need to just we need to be patient. We need. Brandon, to... I need you to scan. I need you to scan. I don't. I, 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 I am. I am. We're okay. We're okay. I have okay, a bird. I have a bird. That's why I was, was oh, trying okay, to say. Okay. That's why I was confused whether that was a bird or. Wait, did they just fly in? Yeah, yeah, they. They did. They did. They did. Can you guys come back up. Take zip. Take zip. Take zip. I smoked to you. I smoked to you. Or go. I'm going Holy back up shit. now. You might die for that. I am. That sucks. Walk through the door. Guy on your door. Guy on your door. I can't. He's blocking me. New team behind you. New team behind you. The block out. out. Uh. I almost just one v three those guys, man. That was another game of under commitment to his zone play. After calling to move into North Pad, the Mice men stay in wall for another 90 seconds, crafting and looting, and thanks to that, they get beat by seconds by the Zeus Station team. Dying like that is inevitable when we take too long to rotate. Either way, we had more games to play, and a contest to fight in game 6. Are they beating us? No, two of them are landing short, two of them are landing short. Kill this guy, we're kill good, this we're guy. Good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Outside on bins. I'm getting inside, I'm getting inside. I got a purple, I got a purple. One minute. Scanning. Did we see where they went from? from oh, right over here. There, and, and over here now. We don't have to fight these guys. We don't. None of us are in the ring. We, need to send we rotate down to. Zeus is gonna push on us. Zeus is gonna push on us. Yeah, go to wall. Go to wall. Let's go to wall. I'm like jack shit. <laughs> yeah, we're not. I'm gonna scan now. Let me scan I have Evo. Then. Or evac, I mean. I have evac. We can take one of those buildings for now. Decide what we're gonna do next. Okay, okay. I think we just need to rely on this building, like on Catalyst. Like, we can. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. building is ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, one's can, no one can kill us while we're here. Yo. We need to get over here somehow. We, we should go right we should now. We should go right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could hold this building, maybe. 
What about this bottom building? That's what I'm saying, yeah. That's my bad idea. Yeah, let me scan, let me scan. Yeah, I don't know what this building is if you don't ping it. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I, I, sh I should have just said bottom building. Yeah, getting shot from height. There's, there's people here. People here. Okay, get, get, in take, take the get in this building now. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Lock it up, Killy. I am, I am. Good shit, good shit. Shot in the... Get pushed on, okay? We need to keep the team on the outside for as long as possible. If they're on yes. the outside of our building, they're getting shot from no matter where they are. Yep. Yes, I like that. Yo, I can wall us up to there. Dude, we're gonna play this late. Okay, yeah, I can wall us to it. Right here. Yo, those guys are gonna about to be fucked. Those guys behind us are gonna have to move in on us. Let's look behind. Look behind you. Yeah, behind, watching, 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 Bangalore's one shot, Bangalore's one shot. Side one, side one. Dead. Look at these guys, look at these guys in the corner. They're on top of there, they're on top of there. Are you gonna wall us, Killy? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, go down, go down. Oh, right side, right side, right side. There's gonna be a team right on our right, there's gonna be a team right on our right. That guy's one, that guy's one. He dodges on, he dodges on. Nice, nice, nice. Fight with Kelly, fight with Kelly. Dead, 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 dead. Dead, all dead. Clear our height, clear our height right now. Clear our height right now. Stay right here, stay right here. Yeah, yeah, team on our height, team on our height. Come with me, come with me. We need to clear our height, we need to clear our height. We need to clear our height. We're right. This way, this way, just follow us, follow us. I'm looking the wrong fucking way. Yeah, it's left, it's left. Bro, up there, it's high. We got it, we got it, we got it. Crap, Fried. Nice, nice, nice. Keep walking forward. There's another team, there's another team. I'm grabbing shield swaps. I think no I just way. heard. Do I hear footsteps? Scan, scan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full three man. Knock, knock one, knock one. One HP, one HP. Knock, knock, knock. On high, on this rock, on this rock. Crack, crack, crack. There's shield swaps. Dead, dead, res, 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 res. You have to res right now. Smoke, smoke, smoke. We're getting bangled to the last team, last team. I'm dead, I'm dead. Let's try, guys. Holy shit. Dude, that was a good game. That team walking up behind us is fucking nice, but... That was a banger. Guys, I'm... That's the most impressed I have ever been by a game from you guys. Let's go. We played patient. We played so patient. Hearing more say that is as good as a win, honestly. We had no heals, we had no heals, and we still played so patient. You... You played it extremely smart, and I'm proud of you guys. Did that was a fantastic call. I said it in the moment. And I'll say it again, Game 6 was the best game I have ever seen from the Mice and Men. They handled the contest well and controlled the majority of the POI, and dipped out when they needed to. They patiently waited to see where the ring would go before making their move. They scouted a good spot within the ring and quickly got into it, and then they held out their spot for as long as they could. The moment when the zone pulled away from them was the moment I knew the team had grown. Watching them patiently clear out their backside, use the wall to isolate the rotating teams, and then push up to height to third the team above was by far the smartest moves I have ever seen the three of them perform. All done while having little to no meds and also having to rotate in themselves. It was incredibly impressive, and I sat watching with the largest grin on my face. There was no reasonable way to win first place in this game too, so securing second place by taking the 2v3 and winning it was by far the best outcome we could have had. We can now coast through the rest of the two games because this already secured us into the next round. We were contested once again on World's Edge, and despite the Mice and Men playing better overall on the launch site contest, they did end up dying again on Game 3. For the last game, we ended up deciding to do a flex drop, just to secure a few more points to make sure we will be in the next round. We didn't really need a miracle game, we just needed a decent game. What I didn't expect was for Danon to get the dumbest prediction I have ever seen in my entire life. Don't drop instantly. Pink thermal, pink thermal. Yeah, right here. Don't drop instantly. Uh, they might be Look climbing around. They're on Where's our left, the on our left. They're yeah, yeah. on our left. Maybe we go no name? Go no name go... and then... No name. Uh, and, then, okay. and then we'll go tunnel. Loot no name and then hurry up and go tunnel. We gotta loot fast. I think this is a better play. If we get down by geyser and stuff, look at, we'll have such a good spot. Uh, do you trust me? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I hear right him outside, outside, outside. I hear him scanning, scanning. He's running. There's just one guy. There's one guy. Close, close, close. Oh. Move up this way. Move up this way, guys. Yeah, yeah, come, come back, Kelly. Come back. You actually, first, you need to scan that. Scan that. Okay. No. Look where zone went. Unless they're not. They, they might have left, but they have. We're good, we're good. I knew, I knew, I knew it. Yeah, that was a good play. I told you to trust me, man. Good shit, dude. The, the I'm just gonna, I'm, I just wanna play here for info as long as I can. Okay, okay, okay. I can't believe we just landed no name and walked into God's spot. Watching them, they're kind of trying to look at you, but I'm not gonna let them. Still a team oh my god! Me. What the? Dude! <laughs> what? Wait, what? 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 There's Dude, can a you expand that. that door? Can you expand that door? It's a oh, prowler. That's you huge, have though. Too. I just went from yeah. a no bolt PK to a prowler. I'm gonna yeah, sit yeah. here with Killy because I think somebody's gonna walk out of here soon. There's another pair pack landing on our head. Yeah. I might not be gettable. I, I might not even try to get that. Boys, do I do it? No. No, yeah, no, no, no don't. <laughs> no. We do not do it today. Okay. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna scan. Just, just look, look, just look at door. They're look not the door. there, they're not there, they're not there. Yeah, it's this door. Watch the lighting door. What is it? What is it? I got a Oh my god, oh my god, bro. Bring me, bring oh me your ammo, god. bring me your ammo. Landing, landing on, on us, landing on us. They, they just landed on like in, one of one's in. A, they're, they're trying to push in. Yeah, they got inside. They got inside. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let them play in. Let them play in. Yeah, be careful. I don't landing know. on our head. Landing on our head. On the back. On the pills. Right here. Right here. Right here. We need to fight this right now. Go go go! I'm ulting. I isolated it. Sixty on bang. Side one. Side one. Knock. 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 I'm me. safe. I'm safe. I don't know. I can't. I can't see. I can't see. I'm dead. Dead. Why am I bro? Safe on me, safe on me, safe on me. I have no smokes, I have no smokes. I'm rising, I'm rising. I secured that KP. You have it. That, that should be good. Oh, They're yeah. gonna have to move. Watch us, watch them. Oh, they already moved, they already moved. We have to move, we have to move. Where are we going? Where are we going? I don't know Bangle for this, I don't know Bangle. Right here. Right there. Right here. Do you have smoke? We're in here, we're in here. Wait, wait, wait. Play the hill, play the hill, play the hill. We're in here, we're in here, up on this box. Good call. Okay, okay. Good call. Our biggest threat is our biggest threat is tunnel. Our biggest yeah. Threat is yeah, tunnel. yeah, yeah. We're yeah. sliding in late. And I'm, we're sliding in late, and I'm walling them into that team. Like they're not gonna be able to push okay. us unless they go okay. through wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Run, smoke and run to me. Smoke and run to me. I'm safe. I'm safe. I might get hit. We're chilling. We're chilling. You're good. You're good. Scanning. Okay, they, they they did my wall that I wanted to do, so that's perfect. I'm ulting. I'm ulting. Can you scan the building? Scan right the here, building. right here. Smoke, smoke, smoke. I am. I am. Yeah, 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 there's a huh? team in the building still. Back up to our spot, back up to our spot. You're okay, you're okay. Cracked one, cracked one. I'm batting, I'm batting. Right side, right side. Play, play one. Last play team, wall. right side, last team, yeah, right yeah. side. Get ready, get ready. I'm, I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I died. Big bang on. I hit like 50 on uh, this Bangalore. I can't hit. I can't hit any shots, bro. You're chilling, you're chilling. I just died to a okay, cat. Y'all fucking suck. suck. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. It's all good. <laughs> oh my god, what the Finishing in second place, the Mysa men end in fifth place overall for their round two group. It could have been better if they hadn't choked their endgame, however. None of this undercuts the fact that they performed above and beyond how they did in round one, with an amazing game two and a solid game four. This was all looking like they would get better as the rounds went on. We were proud of what we achieved so far. Every game after this one would be one that exceeded our expectations. Round 3 was up next, and we held our heads higher than they had ever been before. They're all there, they're all there. Bro. Uh, got shot in the back, dude. We need to play more yeah. together. Oh. I wish I could sugarcoat it. We were decimated. Either off the drop, or when a pro level team were on the hunt, either way, we were the ones to die, and ended round 3 in 20th place.
ending our qualifier's run for the preseason. You guys improved a lot in a week. And I mean a lot. Obviously, there's way, way more you can improve on. Oh, yeah. If you, if you want to continue and maybe play in Pro League, there's a lot, lot, lot more. A lot of... There's a lot of stuff that we... A lot of, a lot of team it. stuff and a lot of individual. Yeah, yeah there's, a lot of, there's, there's a lot of stuff that, like, a lot of teams have down without thinking about it that yeah. we still need to... Like, and we still exactly. need to learn to the point where we can do it without thinking about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in the end, you, were, you weren't anywhere near being Pro League. But yeah. you were, you were a very good PSQ team, and that's Ooh. good. You guys yeah, did great there. I think we did good. You made it to I round three. That's an achievement by itself. Yeah. So, if you guys decide to continue and you want to commit to it, I hope to see you again during Challenger Circuit after Split One. Yeah. I hope to see it because. Throughout the entire day of qualifiers, I was sitting alongside them in a Discord call for every single game, from the amazing highs to the incredible lows, I was there with them. And you know what? Despite being stomped on at the end, it didn't dampen at all the pride I felt in these three men. In the span of nine days, a trio of casual players were able to work their way up to the top half of the preseason qualifiers, beating out a ton of really good players and teams in the process. They deserve every bit of praise for the work they have put in. As far as the name of this video goes, I was their coach, and while I'm proud of what they achieved, I felt like I could have done better. The strategies for contests were still confusing to them, and we ended up struggling in every single fight we took. Their macro was rough because they never got to practice it, and because I never got them the chance to play in endgames. I never explained these things to them, and my way of communicating was like a disappointed father. In saying all of that, I'm very happy with the progress they ended up making in the short time that they had. I don't know how much of it was because of me, but whether it was or not, I'm glad to have seen them grow. As of the making of this video, the Mice and Men as they are shown in this video are no more. Their members are disbanded, but will be competing in future events and tournaments with new groups and maybe new members in the future. If you see any of the trio in upcoming events, make sure to give them a shout out and let me know how far they've grown. For now, however, I've had enough fun getting in on the action. It's time to go back to making videos like this one. I have to edit this thing. How long is it? 30 minutes? Thank you for watching. This was a great experience to have, and I can only thank the three members of the Mice and Men for taking part in it. Most of the footage for today's videos came directly from Mr. Killy streaming the event live on Twitch. You'll be able to find all of their socials down below, and I ask that you go ahead and give them your support. As always, thank you to my supporters here on YouTube, which you'll be able to see on screen right here. I also have to give a moment to thank my Twitch subscribers as well, as that's a new thing I can do. You'll be able to see them right here. Both of these groups help me a lot in making these videos possible. And if you'd like, you can become a supporter here on YouTube as well and be recognized at the end of these videos. As always, if you have any suggestions on what I should cover next in Competitive Apex, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, this has been Moreover. Have a lovely day.